Hey YouTube, this is Rob again. Uh, this is another look at the uh, Smarty UDC Professional Tuning Software. This is uh, version 12. Uh, literally just came out um, minutes ago. In the first video I did uh, was version 1 and that only covered the 6.7 liter uh, trucks. Um, this now covers I think all the way down to 2003 so I wanted to take another first look at it here and show you what features are available for a uh, 5.9 liter uh, third generation truck here which covers I think uh, 2003 up to 2005. Um, so here uh, I noticed first of all that uh, the uh, stock files that it comes with includes for the 2005 is uh, a federal uh, flash and then a, a California specific flash. I imagine that supports some kind of uh, tuning for um, for emissions for California. So right now I'm going to open up the uh, the federal uh, tune and we're going to take a look through there. And one thing you'll notice immediately here that um, the UDC didn't have uh, the standard version is we now appear to have uh, 4.8R transmission tuning here. So we'll take a look through that. Uh, the engine, if you drill down to injection quantity, you can see now that we have uh, what appears to be full control over pre-injection, main event, and post-injection, uh, which is what will enable us to get that uh, that 24 valve second gen sound, I think. Uh, main injection event, post injection event. So you can uh, turn that on or off at your leisure. Rail pressure. Uh, there's a ton more tables here than in the UDC standard. Uh, I'm not even sure how this all works yet. It's going to take me some time to go through it all and probably some emails back and forth to uh, Smarty trying to figure this out, but it looks pretty exciting. Let's see what we got for up oh, and timing timing tables for all the injection events main pilot post uh, turbo quite a few tables to look at for just the turbo there and charge airflow air density tables now this is kinda cool you could uh, change your idle speed if you wanted to Stock idle speed is uh, 750 RPM. If you wanted to go up here and change that, I think, say 700. Oops. Done. 700. Interesting. I wonder what that would sound like. Unfortunately, uh, my UDC Pro Key hasn't arrived yet, otherwise, I'd be playing with this. Well, that'll be another video. So you got speed and cruise control here. You can mess around with those tables a little bit. Let's see what road speed is. Okay, speed limiters. Cruise control. Oh, cool. A lot of tables, a lot of uh, settings you can mess with. Okay, so you can, uh, for the uh, accelerate and decelerate button, you can actually change the value of the speed that each button press will apply. That's pretty cool. Uh, diagnostics, I looked through that, it's just DC, DTCs. Um, so that's kind of cool. And this I found kind of interesting. There's uh, settings in here you can mess around with uh, the lift pump, how long it stays on before you start the engine, after you stop the engine. Pretty neat. I don't know what you'd do with all that, but again, I got to take some time and figure all this out. And uh, let's see, IH, let's see what that says. Minimum air, intake air temperature for intake air heater diagnostics run. Oh, okay, so you can turn off the intake air heater so you can make a delete kit and uh, you won't get codes for having no battery drain if you delete the uh, intake air heater now. 
So that's pretty cool. You can set the preheat time. Turn it on for a couple hours, see what that does. I'm just kidding, don't do that. All right, we already looked at the lift pump. Miscellaneous, what's in there? <clears throat> okay, so you got some air conditioning settings. Oh, the speed that the door lock opens up. So this looks like a lot of the, I think the settings that you could mess around with in the DRB3, like the dealer type settings in the miscellaneous parameters. So that's pretty neat. And then uh, let's go down, see what the transmission settings, because that, that's kind of a big deal. I've been waiting quite a while for uh, transmission tuning. Okay, look at that. Look at all, all those settings you can go through here. I don't even know what they all do, but I'm sure I will. Up, downshift. Okay, accelerate three to four up, shift, let's see what that says. Okay, so accelerator position for three to four up, shift. Okay, so the deeper you are into the pedal, the longer it holds off that uh, shift is what it looks like, and you can adjust how that takes place. And then tow haul mode, same thing. So transmission runs in two different modes, uh, regular and then tow haul, so it's got a duplicate table. Uh, for tow haul. So in effect you could tune the regular setting on the transmission uh, to mimic tow haul and you could always be in tow haul or you could program tow haul completely out uh, if you wanted to. Okay, So same thing for a three to four downshift and then tow haul. Now governor pressure, look at that. Governor pressure table. So you can change your shift points for this. So that's really neat. Torque converter clutch. Okay. All right. So you can sh change where uh, where that locks up at and unlocks. And then throttle sensor. So I'm guessing this is the. Um, We call it the throttle motor down there that takes the place of the cable. Throttle valve actuator, yeah. Interesting. So that's uh, just changing this table on an 05 would be the same thing, I guess, as getting under the hood on an earlier model and uh, tightening up or loosening the uh, throttle valve cable. So that's it. That's uh, third generation. Uh, common rail 5.9 Cummins tuning uh, looks like full control is now available through uh, Smarty. Uh, to use this, you need a Smarty Touch, and um, I have one of those. Have the optional EGT uh, sensor, and I think also you'll need a uh, Smarty Com mod to make this work. Uh, and then, of course, the UDC Pro uh, license key, and uh, you will have what appears to be complete control over your uh, your engine and transmission, which is a really cool thing. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to make some more videos once the uh, dongle gets here and uh, I can start making some changes and uh, seeing what it does on the truck. So this is Rob with the Smarty UDC and I uh, hope you guys get a chance to download this and look at it and uh, have some fun with it. Alright, I'll see you guys later.